Good morning, everyone. Welcome to August 17th Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, president of Invested Central. Right now, we get the Dow futures down two, S&P futures are flat, and NASDAQ futures are up five. Asian shares were higher, while European shares were mixed overnight. Futures were up slightly ahead of the bell on Thursday as traders awaited more economic news. Weekly jobless claims, housing starts, and the Philadelphia Fed all came out worse than expected. Traders largely ignored the weak reports, focusing instead on further statements that the euro would be protected, with all of the major indexes up nicely by day's end. Today we'll get Michigan sentiment at 9.55 a.m., and then leading economic indicators at 10 a.m. There are no key earnings reports due out today. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 13.88, the 50-day at 13.59, and the 200-day at 13.29. The S&P closed at 14.15 with support at 13.88 and resistance at 14.22. The Bulls orchestrated another nice move on Thursday with the S&P hitting a higher high of 14.17, getting within 5 points of the annual high of 14.22. This nice move forced the shorts to run for cover with fear that a break above that April 2nd high might finally occur. What might be next if that 14.22 level is cleared? Well, we have to go all the way back to May of 2008 when the S&P got as high as 1440 during the week of May 19. Believe me, this is a level the bears don't want to see taken out because that could pave the way to even higher highs. But first things first here, let's see if that 1422 level can be cleared first. Take a look at this chart on the S&P. Look what happened when the 20-day moving average crossed above the 50-day last December. A nice and steady four-month climb. Now look at what has developed when the 20-day moved above the 50 at the beginning of July. So far, two months of gains. If history repeats itself, we could be in for a nice move to the upside over the next few months. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back Monday morning with another Market Minute.